On that day, my father decided that he's going to teach me to scale the papali, to walk the papali. And I looked at the papali and I said, how are we going to do that? And so I know in my father's head that he said, you're going to be like a crab. And that's exactly what it was like. There were little knobs sticking out of the cliff about yay wide. But that wide sticking out of the cliff. And my father moved his toe and his toe just gripped right onto it. And I said, oh my God, I'm going to have to do that. He scaled his hands, hands across the face of the, uh, the, the papali and found a puka and he put his finger in it and put his finger in it and did the walk like this. <laughs> and I said, how is it that I'm going to make that stretch because I'm only as tall as this little one. I could not reach the puka. I had to do it. I had to do it. We made it across. We made it across. And so my father, like a, like a crab with his uh, uh, small little butter knife that he didn't tell my mother that he was going to use, <laughs> that he used his sock and tied the sock around it to pad it and started scraping the rock with opihi. Open his bag and shh. Most of you pick opihi like this, right? My father's like this, like a rake. Puts the bag out. That's how much opihi is on the rock, rock wall. And he went from rock to rock to rock, and when that bag, little bag was full, he made a pile on one place and continued and continued. I creeped and crawled on every rock that had opihi on it. After about 45 minutes, my father started coming back. He had 15 piles that he had left on it. Each pile he pulled, and he got a quarter bag and a quarter bag, and pretty soon he had 80 pounds of opihi on his back. And let me tell you, this was, this is not flat ground. From rock to rock with 80 pounds, he jumped from rock to rock. To rock. So we guys who go to the gym and feel that we are really in shape have yet to challenge my father. Ah. Yeah. 80 pounds of opihi on his back and he's jumping from here to there. Over a mile and a half. That's what he did. So, on the way back, I was there, I was picking opihi, and I creeped and crawled on every rock. And I had about, I will tell a little lie, I had about 40 pounds. <laughs> no, how many pounds do you think I had? 15 to 20. 15 to 20. She's nice. I had maybe about 15 pounds or 12 pounds. But whenever I tell the story, I always embellish the story. I had 40 pounds. <laughs> when we got back to the area that we were supposed to swim and climb again, it says the, the weather had changed and now white caps had moved in and the waves were hitting the mountains and were scraping off the mountains. So my father knew that it was going to be difficult. We could not climb, so my father said, we're going to have to swim. Now much of this is in Hawaiian. My father's talking to me in Hawaiian. That's why I still have Hawaiian language, because I learned it at home. But he said to me, He said, at this point in time, my son, you will have to swim. But my father was afraid because it was rough, because the waves were coming in and slamming. And as the slam, it got us all white. Yeah. And the distance, again, I'm going to lie, <laughs> from here to there, but actually it was only from here to the, to the mountain apple tree. Okay. Not very far, but with 80 pounds of opihi, that's far, right? So my father said, we're going to count the waves. So we sat and we counted the waves as he took one corner of the bag, bundled it up and tied it, clover hitch, made a puka with his butter knife and sewed, and cut the other corner of the bag, twirl around, clover hitch, clover hitch, locked it. And he told me to do the same thing, but I didn't have that much, so I couldn't put two ears on my bag, so I made one bundle in the middle. My now 18 pounds of opihi was 15, going up each time I tell the story. So my father said, he came on And when he told me the story, there was a little crack in his voice because he knew that it was dangerous for me. I was about 13, going on 14, skinny, lanky, Handsome, <laughs> plenty hair. At that time, don't laugh at me. <laughs> you can laugh all you want. Yay! And so my father counted the waves and he counted the waves, and then there was a break for about 15, 20, 30 seconds between the next wave. And my father said, hey, ow, ow, and he jumped in with 80 pounds. 
threw the bag of opihi in and he swam with it. And as he got over to the other side, he looked at me and I could read his lips. He says, e au, e ku -e -ki au. Swim, my son, swim. I counted the waves, I counted the wave, and I threw it in and I swam. And as I swam, the wave took me and took me to the cliff and took me out. And I was going in and out. I said to myself, am I going to make it or am I not going to make it? He said, I can make it without the opihi, but do I want to get to the other side without the bag of opihi? That was my choice. And I said to myself, while I'm being bashed and going back and forth, how will my story end? I made it to the other side without opihi. I made it to the other side with my opihi. That was my choice. I made it to the other side with now my 20 pounds of opihi. <laughs> <laughs> so I tell you that story because that story, that's how my story ends. How will you tell your story when this class is over? That's your choice. That's your choice.